It's the first learning session of the Early Years Collaborative. Over 700 delegates arrive from all over Scotland. I work in Stornoway. West Lothian. I'm from South Essex. We've come from Shetland. North Lanarkshire. From Falkirk, Glasgow City Council. Aberdeen. Edinburgh. This is a huge undertaking. Expectations are running high. Just such a fantastic opportunity and really opened my eyes to see this number of people all here with the same purpose of making a difference for these kids. I think finally now there's a bit of there's a bit of political momentum and and clout being brought to it. You know, it's not about reinventing the wheel all the time. Sometimes other people come with other ideas that you haven't thought about. I, th I think this is the start of a journey. It's the first time we've truly had a shared agenda. The first speaker is Sir Harry Burns, Chief Medical Officer for Scotland. It's not just about health inequalities. It goes to the very fibre of the way our society works. And the challenge is to change that over the next 10 to 15 years. Unless we make the early years stable and nurturing for children, we're never going to deal with the root causes of inequality in our society. So no pressure then, OK? This is nothing less than saving the human race that we're about to start. Harry Burns has a surprise guest. From a very, very early age, I was already on a kind of downward spiral. And I'm, I remember catching my dad smoking heroin. I was carrying firearms. I was selling drugs on a daily basis. I was in prison for about three and a half years of my life. I started playing football, and I've always been very talented at football. Well, that's my opinion. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> my life from there started to build. At this point, I'd had a child, um, met Sheree. But that was, this was the, the change in me, because it wasn't just two officers who put their arms around me. It was groups, organisations saying, you're good at this, you're good at this, you're good at this. And I started to go, I'm all good at this. I'm going to take your job. The whole story is very inspiring, but it's far easier to get kids off on the right direction the earlier you start. It's, it's, it's beyond opinion now, it's hard science. Who could build the highest tower out of spaghetti and marshmallows? But it's not all fun and games. Well, I don't think it's going to be easy at all. I think it's going to be an awful lot of hard work. We're a bit unsure about the whole thing because we haven't been at this for very long. Health have their own code, police have their code, education, social services. Those boundaries have to be dismantled. And obviously the budget constraints that everybody's facing at the moment. We haven't made some of the impact that we really should have made by now. The Coalition for Improvement shows how many agencies are backing the Early Years Collaborative. You are the people who can really change Scotland. No child in Scotland should be born to fail. So what will Scotland's chief executives and senior managers bring to the Collaborative? Drive, commitment, energy, a bit of bloody mindedness. The world is watching. I think the scale of ambition on public sector reform is unprecedented. So I'm here ready to work with you to make this happen today. It's not going to be easy, um, but it's definitely doable. I'm not yet quite 100% clear how or whether this process will get us there for certain, but I'm more than willing to have a go. And we believe that every child in Scotland should have the same life opportunities, regardless of their background. You already know how to fix early years. The knowledge is in you. The knowledge is in the workers. Stop talking about it and do it.